All right, we'd like to uh, welcome you back to uh, our uh, field team uh, YouTube channel, COAF, so City of Allen Fishing uh, Field Team. It's our uh, uh, YouTube channel, and we've got a bunch of YouTube uh, uh, videos that we've been posting, but this one uh, we've been holding off on for a while, mainly because uh, we got a, um, a Christmas gift uh, last Christmas, a subscription to Mystery Tackle Box. You different things that we came in and uh, we tried an earlier live stream to uh, uh, unbox them and did this little um, really cool uh, open them up uh, one by one and uh, show you what we had and unfortunately uh, the audio dropped on us so uh, if anyone's listening out there uh, and you can't hear any audio just do a little chat thing and say uh, you don't hear anything uh, from us as we're talking uh, give us a heads up at least um, so we're going to try it again, a do-over. It's a uh, unboxing already boxed, unboxed um, set of uh, mystery tackle boxes. And uh, what our intent is, is we're going to open up the contents, show you the detail of uh, what's in there, and then maybe uh, point out some of the ones that we may use uh, or uh, maybe not, as well as those we'll definitely not use. Um, but uh, threw that out since uh, we did this live stream, and now we know what everything's in here. And we already broke it up uh, between uh, uh, the different uh, uh, fishing things that we had um, opened up in the boxes. But that said, um, we'll just go ahead and just detail what we uh, found, and then we'll, we'll go from there. And so it was a subscription uh, from last Christmas. We got six of these that came in starting uh, January all the way to six months into the year, so June. Uh, it started out with um, some... Uh, uh, I think it's ice fishing stuff or, or pan fishing uh, uh, lures and baits and whatnot. And then we shifted over to salt water. Uh, and so uh, some of the things that we uh, noticed in common was all the boxes had these uh, different brochures and things about how to fish with the uh, uh, different lures and whatnot. And they also had some uh, nice little cards in there telling you maybe some useful links uh, on how to uh, fish these various lures. Initially, Got these cool stickers, a uh, little catch company one, a little fish one, uh, USA, hoo hoo hoo, uh, and basically some cool stickers to use. Um, and then, uh, let's see, if anyone's out there, let us know if you don't hear any uh, audio because uh, we phoned up the last uh, live stream and we're just doing this do over now. Uh, and so we already know what's in these boxes. Uh, so this time we're just going to open up uh, what we how we organized them and uh, tell you what we saw. Uh, so let's go with uh, let's go with this one. So for those that are just joining, uh, this is a mystery tackle box unboxing from a subscription that we got last Christmas, where we had uh, uh, got a, uh, a set of six come in over the course of six months, uh, and we just opened them today, uh, and. Uh, got our first inkling as to what was in there, uh, and then uh, we messed up that live stream. And so we're doing a do over now. Uh, and so, uh, in one set, uh, we started getting uh, some saltwater gear to include uh, a Pompano rig. We'll definitely be using this one when we hit the coast. We got uh, several uh, lures, uh, more like spoons. This one reminds us of the Johnson Minnow or uh, and also, it's almost like a crocodile. Not sure exactly what the uh, um, what they what brand they are, other than it says a reaction strike flash and a rocket dock. All right, and we'll put that over here. We'll probably use that one where you'll do some uh, striper fishing, uh, do some kayak trolling and whatnot, be it at our local lake over here at Lake Laban, as well as uh, over there at Texoma, Lake Texoma, where we catch some little stripers. Um, other things that we got out of the saltwater packets was uh, some terminal. Uh, tackle. We already mentioned the Pompano rig. We also got these uh, cool hooks, Daiichi, as well as uh, these stopper uh, stopper lures hooks. So we'll definitely give those a shot. Um, we'll do some catfishing as well as uh, maybe some trot lining and jug lining uh, again at our local lake over here, Lake Lavon. Uh, and then on the saltwater uh, lures that we saw in some of the plastics, we got these speckled trout, uh, speckled trout tandem rigs. Uh, we got these, or we call using these back when we lived on the coast over there, back in Corpus Christi over there in South Texas. Look, worked really well for uh, speckled trout. I suspect that they still work well for uh, speckled trout. And so we make uh, another run to the coast uh, maybe uh, in the next year. We'll definitely uh, take that into account and use that one. Uh, also included with the saltwater box was uh, this shrimp uh, kind of uh, 
uh, I guess, crankbait. Haven't used one of those before, but um, I'm always willing to try something new. And if it turns out to be a gem, we'll definitely uh, report on it. Let's see. Uh, this one's a, a cool one. It's like a rainbow color, Castiac Whopper Plopper Lure. I guess it's targeting some bigger fish. A pretty good size one. It says it's a uh, one and three eighths ounce to five inch fish, but it has a, a little plastic paddle tail like deal on the end. So it's a hard plastic bait. And then th these, we definitely like these two. Uh, this one's a bomber lure. It reminds us of um, some of the mirror lures that we used back when we were on the coast for uh, redfish and speckled trout. Uh, and then we definitely like this one. This reminds us of uh, a Rapala uh, needle fish lure that we used when we were overseas in Japan catching some, uh, uh, some nice sized fish. Uh, there's a, a fish in Japan that looks uh, like a bass, like a largemouth bass, or at least colored but it has the uh, shape of a striped bass, and they call them Suzuki, and the, uh, the locals definitely like uh, making sashimi out of it. Uh, Reese Bobby, the longboard is awesome. Oh, thanks, Reese Bobby. Uh, it, we definitely like it along with that paddle stick. All right. Uh, and speaking of the paddle stick and the longboard, that's how we uh, maintain um, uh, getting our workouts when we do uh, some kayak fishing. Uh, what we found is, is when we're... Uh, uh, we're not able to go during the during the uh, week. Um, able to do that uh, paddle stick longboarding and being able to uh, maintain a good workout, so we're ready for the weekend to do some kayak fishing. So other things that came in the the mystery tackle box was this top water lure. This one uh, reminds us of a similar lure that we use on Lake Tokosoma and uh, catching some largemouth bass. Just pop it on the surface as we're seeing them move through the. Uh, uh, the area that we were working. So definitely had uh, some definite possibilities out of the mystery tackle boxes out of this subscription. Uh, of our favorites of these uh, of this first set, uh, these two stood out. And th these two meaning the, uh, the Rapala-like a needlefish uh, crankbait as well as this uh, bomber badonkadon. And then, of course, uh, you can't go wrong with one of these on the coast for some speckled trout. And it's a tandem rig speckled trout or speckled tail rig. Uh, seeing these, these have the plastic um, uh, worm to or worm like uh, deal to it, uh, but we also use them without the uh, without the plastic. So that was that set. All right, and then the next one that uh, we broke out uh, again, it was a mix of uh, saltwater uh, mystery tackle boxes as well as. Um, some fresh water, um, I think it was more like ice fishing. So uh, in this box, we noticed these jig heads. These look like they could bounce on the bottom pretty well. Fairly heavy. Uh, and they're called Shake Me, Shake Them. So I guess you can, they've got some kind of rattle noise to them. Yeah, you know, yeah, there is. There is some kind of rattle noise to them. So I bet uh, something will bite that. Uh, we got these hoagie shrimps. And then what we liked about this one, this is from Yum. It's called the Swarm. Look at those big eyes. You definitely uh, catch some uh, saltwater fish's eye and uh, maybe we get a hit or two there. And then these are these are pretty cool. These uh, plastic bubblegum looking uh, flukes. Look like we could use these for jigging fluke rigs. It's got the split tail. Uh, so get that extra action, especially when you're doing the uh, uh, jigging fluke rigs over there at uh, Denison Dam, uh, doing some of that surf casting without the surf. Uh, we're working the tail race. Um, so definitely keep that one in our back pocket, uh, maybe over the course of the next few seasons. Um, this one is a plastic with a, a paddle tail tail. It's green. It's called a bruiser bait, and they call it fish with the best. Looks like it's used for salt water also. Um, not sure how it's going to work, but bottom line, I'm sure something will bite it. Uh, it looks it looks, it looks, looks fishy. It looks like something will bite it. Uh, here's a Deep Creek Lures um, Saltwater Series Little Shrimp Tail Ghost Shrimp, and it's pretty soft. Uh, there's not that many in there. It looks like uh, four. Remind me of the uh, Paddle Tail Shrimp Tails that we used to use on the Tout Lures back on the coast. Uh, again, over there back in Corpus Christi, Port Aransas area. Let's see. This is a Weston Chatties. Uh, it's got a ball. Looks like a ball jig. Uh, and then a pla plastic uh, paddle tail, uh, like middle looking uh, lure. This one uh, has some possibilities. Probably use this one uh, when we do some trolling over there at the local lake behind our kayaks. And then we have the Catch Company 
uh, tournament grade fishing tackle. Looks like some sassy shads to us. It's got some salt uh, glitter to it and some saltiness that uh, it's uh, indicating. And then the next one is a Venom Lures Super Dew. It's supposed to work for largemouth, smallmouth, walleye, the Pro Series baits. Look like some plastic, um, kind of a motor oil color flex with a lot of salt in it. Uh, so this one uh, may be a good one to try. Maybe there's some local ponds for some bass and whatnot. All right, and then we like this one. This is a Daiichi uh, Sabiki Rigs. All right, it's got uh, bleeding bait hooks and definitely be able to catch a few uh, bait fish with this one, um, be it on the local lakes as well as uh, on the coast. So put that on the terminal tackle side. All right, again, uh, those that uh, uh, are joining, uh, do give a shout out if you don't hear any audio. Uh, this is more of a do over or earlier unboxing uh, where we just unbox these for the first time and now we're having to do it over since the audio was messed up on us. All right. <clears throat> Last one, and this one is more of the ice fishing, pan fishing gear stuff. It had a little float in there. We'll definitely use this one. What's uh, different about this float is it's got a kind of like a spring-like top section here, along with the normal plasticing. And I suspect that uh, oh wow, kind of shoots up like this. I suspect that uh, you can put uh, your line here and actually see them take. Maybe <laughs> may have to do a little demo on this one. We'll put that over here with our terminal gear. All right. Let's see. Curly Critter from uh, Fin Commander Leland Lures. The Leland Lures is where we got the uh, trout magnets uh, on another mystery tackle box uh, one other year when we were getting these. And this uh, worked out pretty good as well uh, for those trout magnets. So I wonder how these Curly Critters will do. It says you can use them for um, uh, trolling as well as jigging. Uh, so we'll definitely give this one a try, yeah? All right, uh, more small stuff. Uh, the dot handcrafted since 1937 dot lure. So I think this one's more like uh, pan fishing or ice fishing stuff along with this uh, whipper ultimate micro lures. Okay. Got some small uh, crankbait looking uh, fish. Uh, looks like that one might be a good one to give it a try. Uh, maybe for some little bass and whatnot. Uh, Let's see, a thin spin jig heads look like the trout magnets, uh, but with a bigger hook. And then buckshot spoon, so the spoon along with a nickel knuckle ball jig jitter. Okay, and this is definitely an ice fishing one where it looks like uh, it's like a little jig that you'll just pop up and down in the water. Uh, and then some plastics. Uh, not sure what this one's called. Moonworms, fishing lures, moonworms. All right, so it looks like you could tip uh, one of those jig heads uh, with something and maybe get a bite with these moonworms. Finally, from the H&H &H Lure Company, mini worm 2.5 inch two pack. Um, that one looks like it'll work also. Probably for, uh, reminds us of a, of a Senko worm, but it's got, it's got two hooks in it. All right. All right, uh, the rest of the stuff is some brochures and whatnot that, that came in the uh, rare box. And some of them explain how to use the uh, various lures that came with the mystery tackle box. Uh, and others, it look like it's got some useful links that take you somewhere to tell you um, how to use it or maybe some good uh, information on um, uh, maybe more lures and whatnot. So uh, some closing things uh, that we uh, uh, want to talk about with the mystery tackle box is we got this as a description. Uh, it's a six month description. We're able to uh, make some adjustments. Uh, we start out with some ice fishing gear. We change it to salt water. We know another buddy of ours uh, uh, was getting the catfish box as well as a salt water box. Uh, so you do have a uh, capability of uh, changing uh, what you want to come in your mystery tackle box. Um, not sure how much it costs uh, since this is a gift to us. It's our third year, I think we got this gift. This is just the first time that we uh, opened them all at once without uh, opening them as they came in. Um, so we like it as a gift. It keeps us uh, uh, wondering as to what uh, what's coming in the mail. And then uh, what we also like is, is every once in a while there's a gem in here that uh, turns out to be uh, one that uh, 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 a lure, a bait, or some technique that we probably never would have tried before unless uh, we got it in the uh, mystery tackle box. Uh, one of which was a uh, trout magnet. That one was uh, one that we still keep in our uh, in our uh, gear and whatnot for fishing for. Um, 
uh, various trout and whatnot. Uh, and then finally, uh, do stay tuned. Uh, we'll probably try some of these out, do some field tests and come back and um, looks like Charlie from the uh, field team wants to bother us. This is Charlie, he's our newest field team member. Uh, a pretty cool dog. Anyways, uh, do stay tuned. Uh, we'll be uh, hopefully finding a few gems out of this that uh, we'll definitely uh, post on our blog uh, as well as on our YouTube channel. Uh, so do check back. It's COAF Field Team, City of Allen Fishing, uh, initial COAF Field Team. You can find us on YouTube. Additionally, uh, we do have a blog, stockertropfishing.com, uh, and then an old archive one, cityofallenfishing.blogspot.com that we archived. It still has some really good useful information, especially on the Denison Dam tail race. Um, water flow and how to read the uh, real-time hydroelectric uh, uh, chart that comes out uh, uh, every once in a while for those that uh, are planning to make a trip over to Denison Dam for some of the fishing fun over there. All righty, till next time, we'll catch y'all later. It's not done yet.